It's been 10 years since the nation was rocked by the massacre at Sandy Hook Elementary School. A gunman killing 26 people, including 20 children and six adults. President Biden says survivors still carry the wounds of that horrific day with them. They are now in their teens, and as Marvin Scott reports, grief remains, but hope grows. It is still raw and real for so many of us in Connecticut this day 10 years ago. There are no official ceremonies marking this day in Connecticut where flags have been lowered to half staff. It's a day of solemnity and quiet reflection over the lives of 21st graders and six teachers who were gunned down by 154 bullets in five minutes by a deranged former student at the Sandy Hook Elementary School. Teenagers now, survivors of that day, remain traumatized by the events of that cold December day. I think that realization is starting to hit us like 10 years. That's a long time. Liv Dosha was a third grader who managed to escape. I feel like the farther and further we move away from it, the more I feel I'm scrambling to um, just remember. All the families who lost children that day share a sacred sorrow. It was then Governor Daniel Malloy who had to break the news to them. It was one of the most meaningful things I did uh, in my life, and it was certainly a, a very difficult moment. The slaughter of so many children left the nation in a state of shock and caught the emotions of then-President Obama. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. In the decades since Sandy Hook, gun violence has become the number one killer of young children. Marking the observance of the massacre, President Biden renewed his call for stronger gun laws. In a statement, he said, enough is enough. We should have societal guilt for taking too long to deal with this problem. We have a moral obligation to pass and enforce laws that can prevent things from happening again. While praising recent legislation passed by Congress to strengthen gun laws, Senator Richard Blumenthal agreed that more has to be done. Better background check systems to make them more complete and better enforceable. And yes, ban on assault weapons high-capacity magazines, ghost guns. On the observance of the Sandy Hook tragedy, the mother of one victim celebrated her life by breaking ground on an animal sanctuary in her honor. Catherine Hubbard was six years old. Her mom said she loved animals more than anything. The sanctuary near the school where she died will carry out the little girl's dream. You see, the words of a little girl named Catherine Violet Hubbard rang truth then and truth now. Her mother says Catherine would whisper to the animals, telling them she was nice, hoping they would tell their friends and that animals would come in droves to visit her. Now they will.